Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for joining me today. And thanks again for all your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Today we're gonna to be doing a slow cooker recipe. I've had so many requests for slow cooker recipes, I'm just gonna throw them on the, on the uh, YouTube channel and um, I hope you enjoy them. Today we're doing Thai, uh, what's it called? Just a minute now, just a minute. Thai peanut butter chicken. And um, you, we're gonna add a little bit of spice to it. Um, it's gonna be nice and fresh and I'm gonna put it over a bed of rice or you can put it over noodles or whatever, but we'll talk about that later. So we're gonna start with the chicken. And here I have one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. Now you can use chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use um, turkey, of course. You can even maybe go pork. Um, it's really all these recipes that I put up, I try to give you ideas on how to opt out for other ingredients that you might have more of in your house. So I got this out of my freezer. These were mega big chicken breasts, but I got three there, uh, one and a half uh, pounds. All right, so that goes in there and we'll just put it at the bottom there. Now, um, this recipe does not require red pepper, but I had a red pepper in the fridge and it was starting to maybe, I have maybe a day or so left on it. So I thought I'm just going to throw it in here, add a little bit of color. So I've got one red pepper that I chopped up and diced. That's in there. Okay, that's at the bottom. Now I'm going to make the sauce. It starts with peanut butter and I have uh, three quarters of a cup of smooth peanut butter. I like to buy the organic, uh, all natural. Um, just because I like it. <laughs> so, um, you, but you can put any kind of peanut butter you want in yours, obviously. So that's a third to three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. To that, I'm going to add one cup of coconut milk. It's right there. If you want to hone in on that, Dan. So, where, where is it? right here. <laughs> Okay, so coconut milk. To that, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic that I've chopped up to that. We're gonna make it a little bit spicy and I'm going to add um, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes or chili flakes. Now you can add a little more if you want it spicy. I'm putting that in a little more because we like a thing spicy famous last words, but we'll see. Okay, so there you go. Uh, to that, I'm going to add one of my, oh yes, rice vinegar. Now in the picture, I put red wine vinegar. Mm -mm, wrong, rice vinegar, I made a mistake. So we're going to put, um, although I don't know why you wouldn't be able to use wine vinegar, any kind of acid would be fine. Okay, wine uh, vinegar or rice vinegar, two tablespoons of that. smells like vinegar to me, so I think any kind of vinegar is fine. Okay, and soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce is what we like to use. Three tablespoons of that. Oh, this is gonna be yummy. And two, oh, three tablespoons of honey, of course, honey. I, again, I like to use the all natural organic honey. That's two and two, close. And three. You know, this recipe is all about the sauce. Let's face it. The chicken is the chicken is the chicken, but boy, it's the sauce that you put on it. All right, we have that. To that, we're going to add two tablespoons of Lime juice, fresh, of course. So let me put it in my wine, oh, wine, my lime juicer. So it's, it's probably one lime. Is that? Now, if you notice, there's no salt and pepper because we are heavy on the spice on the herbs and spices anyway within the ingredients so 
we don't need that. Of course, you can always add it later. So we're going to give this a mix. A mix up. Let me make sure I have everything. Wine juice, crush me. I do. The cilantro and the peanuts come later as a garnish. Get this a good mix. Oh yeah, it smells good. Okay, and this goes in with the chicken. The chicken's in there, yes, okay. Woo. All right, so that is it, people. I mean, how easy is that? And again, the slow cooker does all the work for you. Give that a bit of a mix up here. Take a look at that then. Lovely. Okay, so top goes on. It's gonna be on low for three to four or five hours. It all depends on your slow cooker. You know your slow cooker. So I would be watching it after three hours on slow. Um, and you you know, the chicken has to be done obviously. So you wanna make sure that's they are it is done. So just watch that. So I'm gonna put it on low for three hours and we will come back and give it a try. So see you in about three hours. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here we are with Thai peanut butter chicken. Uh, so I let it cook for about three hours on low and I, I stirred it up a couple of times during the process, but we're good to go. In the meantime, I made us some uh, basmati rice. Of course, you can use noodles with this recipe or anything else you want to uh, try it with. So let's give it a try. A little bit of rice. Smells delicious, really good. All right, some Thai peanut butter chicken. Oh, the sauce is beautiful. All right, and I'm going to top it off. You can stay there, Dan, actually, and watch me top this off with some cilantro. You can also use, um, if, you, if you don't like cilantro, you can use uh, parsley. So there we have it. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, that's a big piece. Let me get a little piece. Mm. Oh, so good. Bit of a bite to it. Very creamy, really, really good. Hope you try this recipe. Uh, so that's it for today. Real quick recipe. I hope you try this. Um, uh, if you have any ideas for slow cooker recipes, I would love to hear it. And if you can put them in the comments below, I'm always looking for new recipes and I like to try new stuff. So I'd appreciate it if you did that. And if you like what you saw today, you can give me a thumbs up as well and uh, subscribe and also spread the word. I really appreciate that. I love that you hung out with me today. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, all I have to say is be kind to yourself and one another. We're still in this mess, but it's getting, there's light at the end of the tunnel, sort of, kind of. Um, and um, yeah, last thing, forget the mess. See you next time.